logs in the hot sun Gotta clear them all out till there ain't none worth that tiger cat to death till the job's done and we do it all again Through the sand beds and the muddy waters pushes old Kenworth just a little bit harder Got my 990 pulling from making on a dollar It's good since all terrain Good sons all terrain Good sons all terrain Well, today Bobby and the crew begin the task of pulling up the log load off this track and moving to the very last one here in Hallsboro. This last track consists of a lot of pulp wood and a lot of pine. There's about 800 acres of it, so it's to his best interest that he goes ahead and get it done as fast as he can to get out of here. Being this far out really isn't the ideal situation, and prices at the pump isn't doing him any favors either, especially with the commute, and all that heavy equipment stays thirsty. On this particular track, Bobby actually had to go in and build a road to the deck. And I tell you, when it's dry, it's dry as baby powder. When it's wet, it's slick as fried okra. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? We are in the third month of the new year, and we have finally got moved on to the last uh, 150, 175 acres of this track that we're on. It's been an 800 acre track. We've been here way too long. Too far from home, it's, uh, it's wearing on us all. But uh, we're on the last, we all, well this time it backfired on me. Uh, most of the time, whenever we go to a track of wood, I always try to get the worst first. That way it can only get better supposedly but we all know that Newton was a logger because we have dealt with for over a year all the pulp wood the long pulls everything the back half of this track had to deal with us saving this 175 acres of mixed pine and hardwood is the better the better ground the better wood by far on the whole track and uh, we've been on this deck now for I guess a week or two maybe, week and a half. But as uh, soon as we moved up here, they, the mills went on a schedule shutdown. Uh, they're not buying any pine. And as I'm sure you'll be able to see through uh, some of the filming here, that we're actually having to drive a quarter of a mile, uh, eight, well at least an eighth of a mile, through the pine to get to the hardwood, which was supposed to be a big help to us because it was going to be a close pull, good ground, you know, everything was going to work out and now end up starting out on a eighth of a mile pull, you know, because we can't cut the pine. And uh, very frustrating. And again, you know, we're down five people in the woods. I'm actually running the loader now. Uh, Justin and Smitro, they're doing everything really. Justin. Like today, he's, he'll pull with the grapple tractor and he'll pull up five or six big pulls up to the old 250 loader. And once he gets it pulled up there, then he'll jump in the loader and cut it all up, merchandise it, stack it up, and he'll go pull some more. And uh, Smitro is stomping. And once he gets enough wood stumped ahead, he'll jump on the shovel and bunch the wood. And, and you know, the guys are are doing good. I mean, we're actually, we're still out producing the trucks. I mean, when there's only four of us out here, uh, me, Justin, Smitro, and Durley. Durley's the only poor tractor, and Justin, you know, everybody's helping him when they can. But uh, it's just, uh, I'll be so happy to get done with this track of wood. It's so far from home, and it's just, can't get any trucks. Um, it's killing us. But, uh, and also, we lost a, a truck driver, Alfonso, uh, had some issues, and He's no longer driving, and um, so we only got four of our trucks pulling. And we spoke to have some extra trucks coming in today. They haven't showed up yet, uh, but maybe they'll come in and help us out some. But uh, you know, we're staying around. I guess 
40. Well, if we had the trucks, we could stay around 60 loads a week. But we just ain't got the trucks. We've been running about 40. One week we got 50. But uh, it's, the, it's starting at the third month being shorthanded like that. But it's not, it's not the woods. I mean, we're still getting the wood out. Just can't get it hauled. Just can't find enough trucks to get it hauled. But uh, y'all say a prayer for me, and um, you know, maybe maybe something will happen. Maybe some trucks will show up. I, I don't know what to do. As I'm been doing this for 36 years, and I just really don't know what to do anymore. Um, just keep getting up, coming out here, and hopefully something will happen. We'll see. Guys, uh, as you can see, I'm behind the controls of our new loader. It's the 865 Tiger Cat. And looking out my window here, you see a bunch of pine. And uh, the pine is a, almost a cuss word right now. We can't get rid of it. We get one load of pine pulp wood a day, one load of armor, which is uh, like chip and saw. Mm -hmm. And so we got to try to work that in, but it seems like every time we get ready to load a load of armor, they shut the mill off. It started out, I suppose they stayed up to 4.30. It started out at the beginning of the week, they had stayed up to 4.30. The next day they started, something happened, they closed at one. The next day they closed at nine, and today they just stayed by nine. So, it's uh it's hard you know we got no help anymore that's actually why i'm running the loader we're down to four people we got justin is on that old 250 but he runs the loader he runs the tractor in the mornings he'll jump in the smaller truck and i'll load what wood i got and he'll spot the loads out trim them up and after he gets that done then he'll you know pull a four or five pull. what he does is pull through the old loader when he gets five or six, seven pulls up there, then he'll jump in the loader and merchandise it all out and stack it up. The early pulls to me, Smitro's down there stomping and running the shovel. And with the stomper, when he cuts it down, because we're in a lot of white oak and stuff, and the ground is actually pretty good, and we don't usually cut white oak, but it's real limby, and Smitro will take the cutter and cut what limbs he can off with the cutter. Everybody's doing multiple rolls right now. Uh, it's just it's a sign of our times right now I mean to be perfectly honest uh, the five people that we lost which was uh, Abraham Antonio Raul and uh, Antonio's uh, brother-in-law and, and Fred if we had all those guys still out here I don't know I, I couldn't pay it because we can't we still can't haul enough wood you know, we're on quota for one thing, and that we still can't don't have any trucks. Um, we've been standing around anywhere from 45 to 55 loads a week is all we can get because we just can't get no trucks, can't find trucks. It's just, uh, and it really is not. I mean, it's everywhere. It's not just the woods. You know, and, and to top all that off, which we had, you know, of course we got six trucks. We had all of them running. Well, before the fuel got to five dollars a gallon, the the shortage of trucks even then, uh, we've had two. Well, actually, three of our guys quit. Two of them bought their own trucks because they see these big flatbed rates. You know, people getting seven, eight dollars a mile, and I don't blame them. You know, if I could do it, I probably would. But uh, but now fuel's five dollars a gallon, and I don't know if they're getting a surcharge. We're not getting one in the woods yet. They're supposed to be working out something for us to, to help us out with the fuel. But uh, to give you an example of how much the fuel really affects us, now this is nothing but fuel. This is not how much the oil's gone up, tires has gone up, everything else has gone up, but just the fuel itself on, on this size drop right here, the same time last year, it's cost us $5.44 a ton just to stay even. In other words, if they gave us a $5.44 a ton raise, all that would do is cover the cost of the fuel that we're burning in the woods right now. No, nothing else, it ain't gonna cover the cost of how much tires is going up, how much everything's going up. Just for the fuel, that's how much is, that's how critical it is. I mean, this country runs on fuel and then 
you got the administration, the first thing, the first day on the job, he shuts the pipeline down. You know, stopped it from building. And it's just been a trickle, a trickle down effect ever since then. It's, uh, I don't, I don't know what this country's coming to, to be honest with you. You know, we, we're going to try to keep working. I mean, we, we need truck drivers. Uh, if we could get the trucks back going, then I could hire people in the woods. But I'm scared to hire anybody in the woods right now because we're so limited on what we can haul. I don't know, guys. Uh, Y'all say a prayer for us, for everybody in our industry, because uh, we sure need it. Yes, believe it or not, Bobby cuts out a lot of these tree cookies we ship out to y'all. You know, if y'all follow this channel, it seems like there's always something out here that's tearing up. Just like the day, for instance. The mystery leak in the pressure washer hose. No one knows how it got there, but yet it's there. I'm a firm believer. If you ain't using it, get rid of it. Right here, Justin is removing some old plumbing from the pressure washer. With only three drivers on this last job, Moving a lot of wood quickly is going to raise a lot of challenges. On a good day, they're able to move about 10 to 12 loads. Not a slow leak, considering.
look, Darlie said his clock back. He thinks it's 12 o'clock. And I looked at my watch, I mean, my phone, and it was 12. Hey, come here and show me what size this is. <coughs> Bye. Yeah. Well, I probably got in your truck, Justin, just don't know it. Ain't no telling him what I got there. What are you, what? When I cut in one day, you can unbunt it in one day. It's amazing. Just really? because it ain't wet, you're just blowing through it. But uh, I guess, because I cut it one day, and today I don't think it's good. Justin, is that what you put back in here? Yeah, but it's strip looking. Huh? It's strip looking? No. Not. Maybe I stole one from the shop. Trying to find something closer by. Well, a month went by, I ain't heard from him. Then all of a sudden he calls me back and says he can't find nothing. And he, he, now I really need that job if you, know, if you still need somebody. So I said, yeah, I said, I do need somebody. And he goes, uh, listen, man, uh, I said, I need to know if I got the job now. I said, because I, I got one to go to West Virginia and work with him. But, you know, I, I don't want to go out there. You really not planning on giving me a job. I said, well, look, you need to work. You, you got the job. I would need help. And he says, okay. And uh, it never showed up. What were you pulling? A trailer? Fuber. Fuber. And he just, all of a sudden, he just shied down on the boy Black Smoke rolled out. And I seen that front end break and it just jumped straight up down. I, I it come out the hold of. I just about knocked the ball joint out of the spin. Yeah, it, it come out the hold of. That front dry shaft broke so hard. The horsepower, <laughs> horsepower gets you through some holes. I like the fire. I don't have to give it gas. <laughs> it's all out. What you got to do is back it. The front is the heaviest thing on this road. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the front end's right. Yeah. If a diesel truck will go down a road in two wheel drive, it'll log up. That's, that's a good rule of thumb. You ever remember Snake with one of these? You know how a car goes boop boop? These out here go pop. He pops the snake. It's so heavy. Next time you run over with your pickup, you ever know one? You'll hear it pop, but a car up will bounce over like a bump off. You know. But this thing here will pop it. We're still having a few issues with our e-tractor. Um, it's the newest tractor we've got. It's a 2014. Um, we had the, the bogey arm broke off of it again. Something, the machine is not done right on the casting and it's putting the bolts in a bind and, you know, cause it's like 18 bolts, maybe more that holds that thing on there. And they all snap off when it does it, messed the axle up and just food bars everything. But we had it broke. That was right at Christmas. We got that fixed. And here, I guess it's been uh, about a week ago. Darlie's out there pulling. Matter of fact, it's the first pull he made on this deck right here. Uh, he went down there to get a pull of wood. And uh, the, the, he could. He said he felt like the brakes was locking up, which is a red flag because these tractors don't have brakes like that. It's hydrostatic. And uh, anyway, Justin goes and checks it out. And uh, the hog head, then this, the, the, the rear end in this tractor is just like in a big truck. It, it, in the center, it's got this big round thing. We call it a hog head. I'm not sure what it's called, differential. Anyway, it, uh, the, the pinion bearing went out, messed all that up, so we had to buy a new uh, hog head for that, which was 8,500 bucks. And it was down, you know, thank God it wasn't the D tractor, because they don't even have a rear end for the D tractor. Tire cat, uh, 
Axle Tech, nobody's even got one of them, and it was twice as much as the e tractor So I guess if, if, uh, if there was one bright side to it, it was the e tractor that broke it, not the D, but, uh, but we got that back going, and uh, and we got the clan bunk going. That girl is actually pulling with it some today. Um, you know, just to uh, make sure everything's still good with it. But anyway, we got a truck in, so we'll see if we can get a truck loaded, and y'all stay tuned. Thank y'all for watching uh, the video, and uh, just remember, um, y'all say a prayer for us. I mean, for everybody in our, in our industry, for our country, really. Everybody's suffering right now. But um, you know, I don't mind running this new loader. Actually, I like it. But there's a lot of things to do to run a business, and it's hard to do it from the cabinet loader. But uh, but thanks for watching the video, and y'all hit that like button. And don't forget to, uh, to uh, subscribe. I'm sorry I can't get it out. Subscribe. But uh, and stay tuned for the next one. We're going to keep working as long as we can. We'll see what happens. Guys, y'all remember, we got our apparel, our merchandise is, is up there. So just go down to the bottom of the link there. and It'll show you how to get to it. My, my, my daughter is handling that. But we got the knives. You know, coffee mugs, thermoses, t-shirts, hoodies, hats. I'm not sure what all is on there. Uh, but y'all go to that and check it out. If you like anything, please order.
gave you just enough full momentum, and that's what happened. Well, that just that just fell out. Yeah. See, when oh, I went, good when I went, when I went, get out of under. This is the trailer Rick and knock on the ground out there. Ha, 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 ha.